Hi everybody and welcome to Know What You're Talking About. Today we're talking about Topic 2 DQ1. This is the DQ where we first began to talk about supply and demand and we begin with this discussion. Here's the DQ right here. Explain the difference between change in quantity demanded and a shift in demand. What causes changes in quantity demanded and what causes a shift in demand? On the surface, this looks like a very, very simple question. It's two concepts, change in quantity demanded, shift in demand. What's the difference between the two? But believe me when I tell you that if you understand this well, it's going to make all the rest of your study of economics so much easier. So let's jump into it and see what we can figure out. I'm going to the textbook here over in MindTap, and I'm in section 4-2A, the demand curve, the relationship between price and quantity. This is where the law of demand is introduced. The law of demand says simply, as price goes up, quantity demanded goes down. Price up, quantity demanded down. Pay particular attention to the verbiage that's used in the law of demand because that's going to be one of the keys to understanding the difference between quantity demanded and shift in demand. So this section right here, 4-2a, talks at length about the law of demand and, and how it works. And there's even a concept video here that you'll want to be sure and click on and watch that for further detail. Now for the other side of this DQ, we're going to go over two sections to 4-2C. 4-2C, shifts in demand. This explains everything about shifts in demand, what causes them and how they work. And particularly interesting in this section, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will come upon figure four. Figure four is exactly what you need here for this DQ. Shifts in the demand curve versus movements along the demand curve. And it's, it is discussed in the context of cigarettes and how they're priced and, and um, the, how they're taxed. And you'll read the case study and you'll find it very interesting, I think. But this graphic right here tells you a lot of what you need to know for this DQ. So back again, this DQ is just explain what causes a change in quantity demanded and what causes a shift in demand. The rubric for this simply says explain quantity demanded and explain shift in demand. If those two elements are present and complete, you'll get full credit for this DQ. So right now, with those two sections that I just showed you in the textbook, you have everything you need to get full credit for this DQ. I look forward to reading your work. Thanks for coming by.